best movie I ever did. Pim. Sally. It's me. Pim. Shark Productions, that's Hugh Robertson and his wife Susan Nunez started a film company in the um, 70s also, uh, which produced things like BIM mm -hmm. and uh, uh, films that have not actually ever been seen uh, here anyway. I touched on theatre as well, but I couldn't handle that because that was the same thing every night, whereas film was every day was a different thing, and that I liked the challenge of the change. Some of the other people who, during the course of well, the year working, you would come across people who've been in the industry and these people would have been people like Stephen Lee Powell who was at TDT and then with Timmy Mora and Andy Smart formed the other television production company at the time with Ben Banyan was around called Video Associates. One, the most memorable for me, obviously, was Turn of the Tide. Um, because of the people I met, the people I worked with. Um, well, Batola, who was the director, actually was a sort of mentor to me. I mean, we fell out every day, we cursed one another every day, but actually I learned a lot from Batola in terms of the film industry, in terms of how things were, things was done. And I, I met a lot of people along the way, but he in particular, um, left the mark on me. A whole set of work we had done. Bannon had done Holy Cap Fit. TDT with Horace James had done No Boundary. Billy Associates had done Turn of the Tide. Calabash Ali and Sugar Cane Arrow. But that was a whole set of 13 part episodes which were written locally by Trinidadians. The cast was all local and they were all locally produced and things were getting better and we were doing really well. Sam Ghani who was my immediate boss I asked him, what are all these people going to Mr. Goodsman for? His name was Ron Goodsman. He said, well, he is going to be here to establish the first television station in Trinidad and Tobago called TTT. I remember as a child, my grandfather, who was one of the directors of investments and agencies, which was the company responsible for bringing television sets into Trinidad and Tobago. So my family were, were literally uh, one of the first families to own a television set. And um, we had the neighbors in on Independence Day to see this miracle take place in our living room. But te so television started there. And in the early days of TTT, we went through some amazing programming. I, I didn't get there until about 1974. Some of the more impressionable people would have been people like his award, for instance, in terms of the, the level of professionalism that she demanded and she kept. Then there were people like Alison and Holly Bitodier from a, 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 pre a presenter standpoint. And, that, and these are people that the public will know. When we started Banyan, for example, in, in 19, uh, 1974, 75, it was um, people who wanted to be involved with films, so as Bruce Paddington, Tony Hall, lots of people that, that were in the original Trinidad and Tobago television workshop that formed in '74. So um, uh, it, it doesn't take much to, for people. You yourself are involved in it. You must be involved in it for a reason, and, it's, and the reason is to try and bring the stories of our people to our people and to exchange our stories, and to be able to see ourselves. Move your ass out of the way. With the ass, you think you're going? Look, I don't know who you is, Salah. But Baba Charlie tell us to talk to that Jalwat. And that is what we intend to do. So why don't you go home and just go and mind your cow, eh? You going mad or what? Mad. Not mad. Bad! Better than Baba Charlie. Better than his father, Gopal. You go home and mine your cow if you want to stay alive in this war. But before you do that, tell Baba Charlie that BIM come back. Who? BIM! B-I-M.